In the previous video, we have pre-created our preset for our scene. Now, let's get the input from our player. So what we will need to do is to create a script. Let's create a script folder in our assets. Create a new folder. Let's call it scripts. Great. Let's open it up. And here what we need to create is player input. So let's choose create C sharp script player input. Let's open it up in our C sharp editor. Okay. Now let's delete everything from inside of our class and what we will want to do is to implement delegates we are going to use delegates to inform everybody that is listening to this input that there is an input given by the player and to do something with it so to handle this event so let's create public action i need to import using system so alt enter and choose using system so action is inbuilt delegate inside the C sharp language and we can use it to pass some value to anybody that is listening to this, to, to any method that we assign to it. So we are going to pass here vector2 and this will be on movement input. Okay, and what else do we need? We will also want to pass the direction to our uh, target. So we will create public action and vector 3 this time and this will be on movement direction input. Okay. And now we need to remember that we want to create this universal so our AI agent will not get the same input as the player and we will take care of it a little bit later. For now let's create a start method and what we will want to do is to lock our cursor in the center of the screen to do that we only want to do it once so we are going to do it in the player input script so what we want to do here is to lock our cursor in the center of the screen to do that we are going to call cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot locked so this will make our cursor stay in the center of our screen because we want to move our player using the cinema machine. So in the direction of where the cinema machine is pointing, we want our player to move. To do that, we are going to call update and tap tab to create it. And we can call get movement input method that we do not have yet. So to create it, alt enter and choose generate method inside this class and we will need to have another method get movement direction okay again alt enter generate it here so how do we get the movement input and the movement direction for the movement input we will simply get the vector to input equals new vector2 and we are going to pass input dot get axis and we have horizontal and vertical axis so let's type it horizontal and second will be let's copy the same and let's type vertical so how do how do i know we have such axis let's go back to unity we can go to edit project settings and a window will, will pop up and we have our input manager axis and we have horizontal axis which is left and right and vertical axis which is up and down and we need to spell it correctly just as it is named here in the input manager okay let's close it let's go back to our c sharp editor okay i have an error because i have changed the capital i to lower i great so we have now this input what we need to do is to call our delegate to send this input to whoever is listening so we need to remember that our delegates need to have something listening otherwise they will throw an exception so on movement input and question mark so we will check if this isn't null we will only then call invoke 
and we will pass to it our input. So if anything is listening is assigned to this delegate, then we will send to it our input value. Okay, so this is the input from the player. Now get movement direction. So we know that we want to move in the direction of our camera. So we are going to call var camera forward direction. And to get it, we are going to call camera dot main dot transform dot forward. So this will this will get us our forward direction where the camera is pointing. And we can easily see it using debug dot draw ray. And we are going to start from the camera main transform position. And we are going to call our camera forward direction times 10 and we can choose the color for it dot let's choose red okay and at the end we are going to call on movement direction input again we are going to check if it isn't null and if it isn't if something is listening to it we are going to invoke and pass to it our uh, and we need to calculate our direction of movement because uh, this will point out in the uh, rotated direction and we only want the direction in the xz plane so to get this we need to call var direction to move in and it will be equal to vector 3 dot scale which simply multiplies each vector uh, component wise and we want our camera forward direction vector and we also want to multiply it by vector 3 dot right plus vector 3 dot forward. So as you might suspect, vector 3 right is 1 on x axis and forward is 1 on z axis. So we are going to multiply the y value of our camera forward direction by 0, getting the same the vector on our xz plane so we would invoke our on movement direction input by passing to it this direction and we can easily show it by again copying the debug.draw ray and instead of camera forward direction we are going to copy direction to move in and let's change the color to be color blue. okay let's save it and we can go to unity okay and let's drag our script onto our player. Great. So now let's press play and let's look at the scene window. So we can see that our blue ray is showing us the direction on our XZ plane, while the red direction is shooting in the 3D space. And we want to have this blue ray direction and pass it to our player so he can move in this direction. So let's stop playing. And before we go to the next video, let's consider the, our code again. So let's open it up. And I have promised you that we need to take care of the fact that we want to provide the input for the AI agent as well as for our player. So what do we need to do? Let's make from those fields into properties by adding get and set methods. Okay, so those are getters and setters. And use, doing this allows us to right click on this class name, quick action, and extract interface, or simply using Ctrl R, Ctrl I. And you can see we can extract those two delegates and choose the name for our interface because we are extracting an interface. So let's call it I input. So this way we can get I input reference in our agent controller instead of the reference to the player input. So this way we can implement AI input that will send those movement and movement direction inputs differently from player. And that's how we are going to implement our AI input. So let's go to the next video where we will implement our agent controller and maybe agent movement script. See you in the next video.